the five reasons why having an e-com agency is better than SMMA. No, I don't waste no time. Well, how's it going guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is joshua daniel george a social media marketer and online coach i have my own social media agency or ecom agency in this case called brandpreneur uh, here in the netherlands uh, we are currently doing six figures and we have also an education business we have also we also have an education business where we teach you guys on how to do the same so how to start your own agency how to get your first clients how to get multiple clients and more importantly how to get results for those clients so that you can scale it automate it and live life on your own terms now before we begin i just want to say if you watched this video until the end i do have a little bit of a surprise for you guys uh, so make sure you stick around for that and this video is inspired by a conversation that i had with uh, ryan wegner um, a few days ago ryan wegner is a close friend of mine a digital marketer a very successful digital marketer i might add and he also has his own youtube channel and um, he's basically built this entire empire on uh, local lead generation social media marketing where he runs ads for local businesses um, and then you know basically helps them get a return on investment and then you know basically he's built up uh, a successful agency with that he then moved on to uh, basically building funnels um, for you know info products and so on and so forth and like i said you know he has just absolutely skyrocketed and um, you know we're in close contact we bounce a lot of ideas off of each other and we had a little bit of banter going around uh, because obviously you know i'm very much focused on e-commerce and he's uh, very much focused on uh, funnel building etc so you know there's a little bit of a banter going around and i thought okay he's got a video on uh, the five reasons why a local lead generation agency is uh, the best way to go and the best way forward etc so i thought okay let me uh, put my own spin on it and give you the five reasons why uh, an e-com agency is uh, the best way forward and with that said i uh, about the end of 2019 start of 2020 we had a dentist client on a uh, fun fact we actually still have this dentist client on um, and we were getting amazing results for this dentist um, it was a local dentist uh, not local for me but just in a local village um, with a very small like surroundings basically and we were running um, a dental implant campaign as well as an invisalign campaign and we just got amazing results like literally we tripled his uh, monthly income by just running simple facebook ads offering a free consultation for dental implants and invisalign and the results were just absolutely like he was just amazed by what was possible with facebook ads and uh, like i said you know we're, what is it it's it's almost 12 months now that we've that we've had this client which uh, for a local business you know for a lead generation client um is a relatively long time you know for um when we look at the lifetime value of our local lead gen clients um you know i think this is one of the longest that a client like that has ever stayed with us so we're happy with that and because we we're getting good results for this client we wanted to basically go all in on dentists we thought okay we can just literally duplicate that funnel and replicate the results that we've gotten for this dentist for other dentists across the globe whether that is america uk scotland netherlands it doesn't really matter because the flow stays the same and then of course the pandemic hit us and uh, you know uh, there was a lot of uncertainty about dentists uh, even our dentists you know we did short for one month uh, where we focused on um, like make sort of like virtual consultations etc um, and then you know as soon as the sort of like everyone calmed down we got the dentist back on you know, regular um, consultations but a lot of dentists were very unsure about this you know every dentist that we spoke to basically said you know it's not the right time for this i just want to see what happens i'm not even sure i'm staying open and so on and so forth so then we quickly switched back to ecom because ecom is what we were doing prior to getting that dentist on anyway and um obviously you know we haven't really looked back since um now you know we've sort of got like a second wave but we're still you know mainly focusing on the e we've got um two restaurant clients we've got a car dealership client um and we've got um like i said you know, we've got a dentist client we had two dentist clients at one point one unfortunately did need to shut down because of the pandemic but other than that like we've got like 10 other clients which are all e-com clients you know whether that is meal prep apparel uh fashion it doesn't matter it's all in the e-commerce niche and the number one thing that i've noticed with e-com is that it's much more stable so even though there is a pandemic going on even though there are elections in the us even though there's all kinds of stuff going on with facebook and the new crawlers and the new algorithm etc ecom is still much more stable 
you know, you hardly ever see an e-com store um, being shut down because of, you know, a global pandemic or that the government has told them that they are not allowed to be open, you know, during these times. And obviously with local legion clients, you know, like a dentist, like a barber's, like a spa, like a restaurant, like a pub, you know, these all need to shut down because of everything that is going on. Of course, every country is different, but in the Netherlands, as well as in the UK, a lot of these local businesses have had to close, have, you know, some of them have even gone bankrupt because of everything that is going on. And with e-commerce, you know, that is just not the case. You know, e-com is open 24 seven and you can get sales 24 seven. Speaking of sales, what I've noticed as well about the e-com uh, sort of niche and industry is that it's much more scalable as well. As I mentioned with that local dentist at the start of this video, you know, he was from a small village and, you know, people are not gonna go from, uh, you know, people are not going to travel for miles. I don't really wanna give you guys the location of that dentist, but people do not wanna travel for miles just to go for a free implant uh, consultation, right? Now, people aren't gonna travel for hours and hours just to physically meet up with this dentist. Whereas with e-commerce, you know, it is much more scalable because literally what you know, which i'm going to explain in point number three the world is your target audience or your target market so we're the with the dentist with the local legion client that we had um, or we've still got we were only able to target his area you know plus let's say 20 miles because further than that people aren't going to travel that long so you know the, the, there's no point in you know targeting other cities or other parts of the country because people aren't going to meet up with them or people are not going to take up a service if they need to travel for that long whereas with ecom because everything is online because of worldwide delivery it is actually much easier to scale and with that said you know when you look at the ads um, and you see that an ad is profitable, you can just increase the budget, uh, you know, you can increase by 20% for uh, every single day that that campaign is profitable. And because the world is your target audience, you know, there's unlimited scale, right? Whereas with a local legion client, because we are limited to that specific area, there's no point in running a, I don't know, a 10K a day campaign for just this little area if the population is only, I don't know, let's say 100,000 people. And then speaking of population, you know, this is where point number three comes in, the world is your target market. And um, again, a quick little anecdote, we've got a client uh, that is based in Sweden, an e-com client, which uh, basically sells high ticket jewelry. And originally we were focused obviously on Sweden, you know, because the website is in Swedish, the copy is in Swedish, um, everything ab about the brand is Swedish. So we were focused on Sweden, uh, we were getting sales and it was going okay, but there wasn't, you know, there wasn't that moment where you think, okay, you know, this is going to be one of the biggest brands, um, you know, where like there's, there's such a high ROAS and such a high profit margin that you can scale that campaign to the moon. So yes, you know, it was profitable, but it wasn't anything special and it wasn't our best work. You know, we noticed that the cost per purchase was relatively high. The average order value was relatively low and the outbound click for rate just, we couldn't get that any further than 1%. Um, then when we moved to the UK, we tested out different countries just to see, okay, is there any more potential in another country? And in the UK, it just skyrocketed. Again, you know, the average order value increased you know, and might have something to do that people in the UK have more to spend, but generally, you know, the interest in the UK was just much, much higher. We noticed that more people clicked onto the website, more people purchased, and of course, the average order value increased because people were also making multiple purchases and maybe purchasing two items at a time. So with that said, the world is literally your target market. If the UK is not profitable, you can move to Germany. If Germany is not profitable, you can move to Denmark. Or if multiple countries are profitable, you can just expand across those multiple countries because it does not matter. You, if you've got worldwide shipping, you can ship to any place in the world and you can then basically target everyone in the world. Another fun fact, um, obviously, you know, with the third world countries, people do try to exclude those countries because more often than not, these people can't afford the products that you're promoting. And there was a business owner that actually focused mainly on third world countries because he knew a lot of big e-com stores excluded those countries from their target audience because they knew that they couldn't afford it. So he actually created the product, tailored the price to those third world countries and started promoting in those third world countries. And he had the lowest CPMs, the lowest cost per clicks and also the lowest cost per conversion because people were buying it because they could afford it, which I thought was quite interesting as well. So this business owner basically understood paid traffic. He knew, okay, you know, if I want to 
focus on this target audience. I need to tweak my offer. I need to tweak my product. I need to basically tweak the flow that I'm running on Facebook to make sure that it's profitable and that we can get pages in that specific part of, uh, of the world, basically. And that brings me to point number four, is that e-com owners, they understand paid traffic. Whereas we're a lot of, again, you know, over time, obviously, people are more and more understand them Facebook advertising, online marketing, etc. People understand the necessity of it, but e-com owners, they know, you know, they live and breathe paid traffic. They know if you are not getting paid traffic to the store, unless you've got an extremely big brand, there is no way that you're gonna get any sales. And, you know, we've noticed with a lot of our stores as well, um, sometimes we, um, you know, we'll switch off campaigns because we're focusing on a new flow. Maybe they're updating the websites and, you know, basically ask us to pause a specific campaign. And when we do that, because obviously we also have access to the Shopify stores, etc. The traffic just plummets because there's no paid traffic coming in. If they haven't got a brand, then there's no way of them getting traffic. Whereas with local businesses, if you're not running any kind of online marketing, because people are still walking down that high street, because people are still living in that, you know, that same area as that store, they're still going to get people coming in. They're still going to get visitors and still going to get customers. So with Ecom, they understand paid traffic more and they are more willing to invest into it because they know without it, they are not going to get any sales and any type of conversions. Okay, so the ecom owner basically knows, okay, money into ads means conversions, means money out. So you put money into ads, you get money out you know, through the conversions and if it's profitable, then you scale it up from there, which brings me to point number five, is that with ecom stores and with you know uh, the, the whole ecom industry, basically, it's very, very easy to calculate the return on investment, the return on ad spend, the average order value, the lifetime value of a customer, because platforms like Shopify and WooCommerce, etc., and OpenCart, they give you that information, they give you those data points and the statistics that you need in order to scale profitable campaigns and in order to make it a whole profitable store. Whereas with a local business, it is much harder to calculate. Uh, for example, if you've got a restaurant client um, and you know you bring someone to a restaurant and they order. Um, you know, food and drinks, etc. They end up spending spending fifty pounds. It costs you eight pounds to get that person to book a table. Then you know you might think, okay, well I've put eight pounds in, got on fifty pounds out, but it's hard to calculate the lifetime value of that person. We don't know how many times that person is going to come um, the rest of the year. We don't know how many people uh, that person is going to refer onto and mention that this restaurant is a nice place to eat. It's hard to also calculate. Okay. What are the costs of delivered goods? You know, are you really going to sit there and count all of the ingredients of the meal that they've ate? And are you going to go basically compare that um, with the ads you know, or the money that you spent into ads and basically see, you know, what is the return on investment, the direct return on investment there? Whereas with e-com, with the statistics, with the data that we've got, every single thing is tracked, every single data point is tracked, and it's just much, much easier to calculate that return on investment and to calculate that return on ad spend. So those are my five reasons why I think e a having an e-com agency is better than just having a generic social media marketing agency. With that said, I think the whole social media marketing agency team is like the whole, you know, it's, it includes every type of agency basically, you know, whether that is Google ads, Facebook ads, um, Clavio, email marketing, you know, SMS marketing, it doesn't matter. If you've got a social media marketing agency, you know, you are basically leveraging social media, leveraging paid traffic on social media to get that client a return on ad spend and a return on investment. And then within the eco, uh, within social media marketing, you've got um, local legion agency, you've got an e-com agency, you've got Google ads agency and so on and so forth. And then like I said, what we focus on is the e-com side of things. So our niche that we focus on is uh, e-commerce and we also have a few info product clients on as well um but other than that you know we try and shy away from local legion because we know that ecom is in our opinion much more stable and much more scalable now with that said if you've made it this far into the video uh, i very much appreciate that so thank you so much for that um i have a free social media marketing beginner course on how to get your first clients by leveraging freelancer websites this is something that there are a few people out there that are actually um you know promoting via a paywall so you know they have actually have a paid course on how to do this i'm just giving it to you guys for free if you want access to that what you need to do there are basically two ways of doing it um, you can subscribe to this channel and you will basically see my advertisements i've switched on the google ads again so you'll see youtube pre-roll ads um, that are you know so everyone that subscribes to my channel will see those pre-roll ads and that will basically invite you to sign up for this free course 
or you can access uh, the free Facebook group. And then once you've been accepted into that free Facebook group, um, it is one of the freebies that you can access that course as well. So the two ways of getting that free course, subscribe to the channel and or um, you know, basically enroll into the free Facebook group. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you like this video, if you have an e-com agency and what you think the benefits are of having an e-com agency as opposed to a local lead gen agency. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.